outside the farm and now we're going to go inside and get started. So this is the farmhouse that I was talking about earlier and this and that is the field that we're going to be picking our asparagus. So first let's talk about the difference between green and white asparagus. So there are two main types of asparagus, green and white asparagus. The green asparagus is green because it's exposed to the sunlight which develops chlorophyll. And then we have the white asparagus which obviously isn't green. This is because it's covered with the white cover on top to prevent the sunlight from coming. And then over time, it sometimes turns purple, but this is because it's sensitive to heat. So here we are in the field of the asparagus, white asparagus to be specific. And here we have the asparagus has already been plucked and and red and harvested. And all we need, to, all that's left to do is they need to be cleaned and sent to the factory. These are the tools needed for white asparagus harvesting. This is a asparagus knife to cut it, and this is a scraper and leveler after we dig. Okay. And to harvest the green asparagus, we only need one tool, which is a knife to cut the asparagus at the bottom. Now it's time to find some white asparagus. The white asparagus is usually under these white covers like I mentioned before and they're in these like almost dirt tracks as you can tell and there's usually long lines of these and to find white asparagus you will have to spot one like we're searching here and it'll be usually like sticking up at the top. So now we finally found a white asparagus and as you can tell here it is. Then all we have to do is dig it like so. It requires quite a lot of digging and then once you're done digging you can use your asparagus knife and cut the bottom so that the asparagus comes out. And then finally, scrape all the soil that you dug earlier back so that there's no holes. So I'm here with the bag, and we have to find the asparagus. I found one here, so I'm really going to dig. So now I'm just repeating the steps from earlier, and I'm just starting off by digging. This digging took me quite a while because there's quite a lot to dig. The asparagus was quite deep. But I eventually got there and now I'm just pushing in to get the asparagus out. You really have to push in there. And here's my white asparagus all out. Finally, all that's left to do is put all the soil back and level it at the top. So here we are at the field of the green asparagus and here's a small little green asparagus. But we can't use that one because it's not fully grown yet. And just like the white asparagus, the green asparagus is also covered with the white cover except this is grown originally on the ground, unlike the white asparagus, which had quite a lot of soil piled up. 
So now we found a green asparagus and here I am just cutting it. And for the green asparagus, all you have to do is put your knife at the bottom and try to chop it. This is quite difficult, but I managed to get it out. So once the asparagus has been picked and has been washed thoroughly, you can move on to the next stage, which is cutting away any brown spots and making it perfect. The asparagus are later sorted into these bins. As you can tell, there's 14 to 18 millimeter thick, and they're basically just sorted into these bins according to them and that gray tool you see is the is the measuring thing they use to measure the asparagus size and once again here is all the asparagus being sorted and here are the different bins as you can tell this asparagus has a purple tip so it goes into the bin that is labeled as the purple tip, which is at the far end over there. And so now here is me trying to scoop the asparagus. This was quite hard as you have to cut it quite thinly, otherwise you're peeling away too much of the asparagus but I somewhat managed to do it. So after all the asparagus has been sorted and perfected, then it can move to the refrigerated room here where the asparagus is stored and segregated into the bins based on their width, like I mentioned before. The asparagus has to be in this cold and wet climate in order to sustain. So today we learned a lot about how it was, how our asparagus was harvested and processed and I'm very thankful to everyone at the farm. So thank you, Max. Now we're going to That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about asparagus and that you're all asparagus experts now. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye!